Hello everyone. You are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations. x cubed plus y cubed is equal to 26 and x minus y is equal to 4. Our job is to find all possible values of x plus y. So let's start. Let's call this equation equation number 1 and this equation equation number 2. First we start from this equation 1. Equation 1 is uh, x cubed plus uh, y cubed is equal to 26. This uh, x cubed plus y cubed can be factorized as uh, x plus uh, y times uh, x squared plus uh, y squared minus xy equal to 26. Now by using this algebraic identity a squared plus uh, b squared is equal to a plus b whole squared minus 2ab. We can rewrite this uh, x squared plus y squared as this expression will become x plus uh, y times uh, x plus y whole squared minus 2xy minus this xy is equal to 26. Next, x plus uh, y times uh, x plus y whole squared negative 2xy minus xy will become negative 3xy is equal to 26. Now we suppose that x plus uh, y is equal to t. So this equation will become t times t squared minus 3xy is equal to 26. Let's call this equation equation number 3. Now by using this algebraic identity a plus b whole squared is equal to a minus b whole squared plus 4 a B. We can write this identity in terms of uh, x and y like this x plus y whole squared is equal to x minus y whole squared plus uh, 4xy. Now in this equation we replace this x plus y with this t and this x minus y with this value 4 from equation 2. So this equation will become t squared is equal to 4 squared plus 4xy. Next t squared is equal to 4 squared is 16 plus 4xy. Move this 16 to the left hand side. This will become t squared minus 16 is equal to 4xy. Now if we divide both sides by 4, this implies that uh, x times y is equal to t squared minus 16 over Further simplify, this will become x times y is equal to, this fraction can be written as a t squared over 4 minus 16 over 4. This will become x times y is equal to t squared over 4 minus 16 divided by 4 is 4. Now we recall equation number 3. We recall equation number 3. Equation 3 is t times t squared minus 3xy is equal to 26. Equation 3 is t times t squared minus 3xy is equal to 26. 
in this equation we replace this x y with this value t squared over 4 minus 4. So, this equation will become t times t squared minus 3 times x y is t squared over 4 minus 4 is equal to 26 x t times t squared distribute this negative 3 this will become negative 3 t squared divided by 4 and then negative 3 times negative 4 will become plus 12 is equal to 26 t times uh, we can write the denominator of this t squared 1 and denominator of this 12 1 and we take LCM of uh, this 1 4 and 1 the LCM is 4 4 divided by 1 is uh, 4 so 4 times t squared will become 4 t squared and this negative 3 t squared negative 3 t squared 4 divided by 1 is uh, 4 4 times 12 plus 48 is equal to 26 next t times this 4 t squared minus 3 t squared will become t squared plus 48 divided by 4 is equal to 26 and from here we multiply both sides by 4 at left hand side we multiply by 4 so this 4 will be cancelled out with this 4 and we are left with the t times t squared plus 48 is equal to 26 times 4 will become 104 distribute this t t times t squared t cubed and t times 48 plus 48 t this 104 will become negative 104 at left hand side is equal to 0 now this is a cubic equation and if we check if we check t is equal to 2 in this equation we notice that t is equal to 2 is a solution of this cubic equation and uh, which means that uh, t minus 2 is a factor of this uh, cubic equation so we can rewrite this equation as uh, we can rewrite this equation as uh, t cubed we subtract uh, 2t squared and we add 2t squared we write this uh, 48t as uh, minus 4 times t plus 52 times t minus 104 is equal to 0 from these two terms we can factor out t squared in bracket left t minus 2 and from these two terms we can factor out plus 2t in bracket left t minus 2 from these two terms we can factor out plus 52 in bracket left t minus 2 equal to 0 and as you can see this expression t minus 2 is a common factor so we factor out this t minus 2 and in bracket left t squared plus 2 times t plus 52 equal to 0 now from here is this expression t minus 2 equal to 0 or this expression t squared plus 2 times t plus 52 equal to 0 from this equation we get the value of t equal to 2 and from this quadratic equation we write this t squared plus 2 times t this 52 is same as plus 1 plus 51 equal to 0 by using this algebraic identity 
ए स्क्वायर प्लस टू ए बी प्लस बी स्क्वायर इक्वल टू ए प्लस बी होल स्क्वायर दिस टी स्क्वायर प्लस टू टाइम्स टी प्लस वन विल बिकम टी प्लस वन होल स्क्वायर इक्वल टू दिस फिफ्टी वन विल बिकम नेगेटिव फिफ्टी वन एंड फ्रॉम हेयर वी टेक अ स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ बोथ साइड So this square will be cancelled out with this square root. We are left with the t plus one equal to this plus minus root negative fifty one is same as plus or minus root negative one times root fifty one. Move this one to the right hand side. This will become t is equal to negative one. Plus or minus root negative one is i times root fifty one. And first we found that t is equal to two. First we found that t is equal to two. Now recall that we have supposed. We have supposed that x plus y equal to t. We have supposed that x plus y is equal to t. So we get three values for x plus y. X plus y is equal to two, and negative one plus i times root fifty one, and negative one minus i times root fifty one. So we have three solutions for this equation.